What's up, y'all? It is September 18th, 2019. Breaking news. Well, is it really breaking news? Because we all saw this coming. I mean, if you're just plugged in even halfway into Dallas Cowboys football, you know this was coming. Taco Charlton has just been released. Um, what can I say? Yeah, he hasn't done shit. I mean, he hasn't done anything. Good riddance, you know? Um... He's an underachiever. I I wasn't even a fan when we drafted him back in 2017. I, I was like, you could have got TJ Watt. You could have got a couple other players, you know, but we got him. I was like, when we drafted him out of Michigan, I was like, really, this guy? I, In my honest opinion, I thought Taco Charlton was a second, third round pick. I felt like we we reached for him. We, did, we, we pulled a big reach for him. Uh, we could have got him in the second or third round. And to be honest, like hearing some of his scout reports, uh, how like um, he's long, he's lanky, but he has a he has a low energy. He doesn't really have a high motor. You know, he doesn't really keep going after the play. You know, he stops when if a, if a offensive lineman gets his gets their hands on him, he stops. And you know, it, it, and to be quite honest, that's that, that was true. I mean, Randy Gregory, with all his fuck ups, Randy Gregory was much better than Taco Charlton. Uh, Taco Charlton, in my honest opinion, was a waste of space. He was a waste of a roster spot. Um, the only reason why he lasted this long on the team was because he was a first-round pick. And we were just hoping that maybe something would turn around, but it just never did. Uh, I wasn't a fan of the guy. I really didn't want him to be drafted, but we drafted him. Those, that's one of the... Those are one of the, now the Cowboys, as of late, at recent history over the last 10 years, we've drafted extremely well. We've drafted extremely well. There are a couple of busts or a couple of like eh, here and there, like Morris Claiborne and stuff like that. Uh, but um, this was one of the few bad ones that we just like we missed on. This was a miss. And it's not like Morris Claiborne. When Morris Claiborne came out of LSU, we all thought he was going to be a major hit. I mean, he proved it in college. We were like, man, this is going to translate to the pros, and he just never did. And the thing is, Morris Claiborne came on towards the end. He just couldn't stay healthy, and after a while, the Cowboys just lost patience, and that's when he went to the Jets. Uh, so with Taco, Taco wasn't suffering any health issues. Taco is just Taco, man. He just, to be honest, he wasn't good enough. He wasn't good enough. He didn't have a high motor. Uh, the guy was just, he was going to be a rotational player at best, and he couldn't even do that. So, yeah, hopefully he, he'll get a fresh start somewhere. Hopefully he can he can do something with, with his career. But to be quite honest, I don't see it. I think he'll be in the league for maybe two more years. And then after that, he's done for. Uh, the guy just doesn't have it. Uh, he was a reach to begin with. Um, yeah, just don't, just don't see it. I, you know, and I'm not trying to hate on the guy. I'm just being real. I just, what I saw... Over the last few years, he just wasn't good enough. And I'm pretty sure Cowboys Nation and even people who aren't a fan of Cow of the Cowboys can see it. He just wasn't good enough. Like, you don't see, you never saw me, like, raving about Taco Charlton. Oh, he's going to have a breakout year. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. Nah, uh-uh. Mm -mm. You just didn't see it with him. He just didn't have it. And some players, you can just tell, they just don't have it. And that's okay. Uh, he's been released. He got his wish granted. Um, good luck to him wherever he goes. Uh, hopefully he makes a team somewhere. I don't see it, but hopefully he does. Uh, but yeah, that's that. If, uh, I'm gonna put it to you this way. If Rod Marinelli can't bring out the best in you, then it's, it's no hope. Rod Marinelli is, uh, the defensive line guru. He is a defensive line guru. And if he can't bring out the best in you, there's, uh, there's no hope for you because there were guys coming in that were get that were making an impact that weren't shit elsewhere. When Rod Mar Mar bleh, when Rod Marinelli put his hands on them, when he coached them up, they were solid. This guy, nah, not even Rod Marinelli could uh, you know, could you know resurrect that 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 he couldn't do it. If Rod Marinelli can't do it. I don't see anybody else doing it. I'm just saying. But all right, you guys, follow your boy on Instagram, Gerard John 1991. That's J A R R O D J O H N 1991. I'm going to catch you guys later.
Peace.